Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to have a mini tutorial on how to slice using an Android phone with Design Space. So the first thing you need to have is two layers. You can't have more than two layers or it won't slice. So you're going to put the object you want to slice out on top of the image, select both, and then in the Actions menu, you're going to click on Slice. Then you can separate the items and you can see how the five was cut out of the dinosaur. In the next part, we're going to slice through multiple layers. So I have my text. It's behind, so you can't really see it, but I'm going to select everything. And I'm going to do Edit, Align, and Align Center. So now my text is centered. I'm going to bring it to the front as well. So I've got to go to Layers on my phone and select what I want to. And then I'm going to go to Edit and Arrange, Bring to Front. Okay, so now I have my three layers and there's my name in the front. And what we're going to do is ungroup the sunflower image and we're going to hide each section of the sunflower image except for one. And we're going to slice them out one at a time. And be careful not to move your image at all while you're slicing so that whatever you're slicing out is going to line up. So now that we've only had two layers selected, you go to Actions, make sure both are selected, and then Slice. Now I'm going to remove one of the slice results. I still want to cut Karen out of the other thing, so I only um, removed one Karen. So now I'm going to hide the thing that I just sliced, and I'm going to grab the next item that I want to slice out. There it is. I'm going to select both. I'm already in the Actions menu, so I just have to push Slice. Go back to my layers delete all of the slice results that I don't want. I still want to keep Karen. My Karen's a little bit messed up, but it doesn't really matter in this case. So now I'm going to hide the layer I just cut, bring forward the one I haven't cut yet. It doesn't matter the order that they're in. It'll slice out no matter what. And now I'm going to remove that slice result and the other slice result. All I want left is the sunflower with my name cut out. And now I'm going to unhide all of the sunflower parts. So I'm clicking on that little eye icon down there. And they're not in the right order. So what I'm going to do next is arrange them according to the layer order that I think it's supposed to be in. Now everything is in line. Um, I'm going to select actions and group everything together so that I don't misalign anything. And if you zoom in, you can see that the word Karen is cut out properly. All right, so here we're slicing out and replacing with a new layer of a different color. Um, the item that I wanted to replace is the bowling ball. Since bowling balls are round, you can actually do it this way. It's pretty simple, a lot easier than trying to contour something out, especially since the lines are connected. You won't really be able to contour this. You'd have to like either slice everything out or upload a new image and erase all of the, the things you don't want. So this is the easiest way. So I put my circle there. I went to actions. I sliced it. Now I'm going to move away the bowling ball. And I'm going to pick the bowling ball that I want to use. I'm going to select the edit and go to the cut where the little color dot is. I'm going to pick blue, push the check mark, and I'm just going to put it back in the item, delete the other parts I don't want. And when I attach this to the mat, it'll print out on separate mats with separate colors. Good luck, and hope you enjoyed these tutorials. See you next time.